So I've got this, uh, hold on. I'll turn the light on white, that's better. So I've got this little handy torch. The Wuben Falcon X1. What a beast this is. Chunky, quite heavy. He's got these three lights here. On the other side, you've got the, uh, you get this as a separate fitment. It's uh, to put on your bike. So you put the bike mount on your handlebars and then that slides on. So it becomes a bike headlight, which is brilliant. That's a good idea. Oh, we've got so many lumens. Oh, we're gonna have to do some research. This is just a, a first view, right? I'll do proper like figures and facts when I get back. But because it's dark and it's going to be light when I'm reviewing it, I just thought I'd do it here now for now, right? So you switch it on, it remembers the last mode you were in. Right, so that's moonlight mode. Moonlight. So to get it on the next mode, you press it and hold it. Yeah, there you go. It phases through the uh, the mode. So press and hold again. It's a little bit brighter there. That's probably all you need there for walking and hiking. So all is good. So you've got one more mode after that. There you go, another bright one. So if you're in a really dark area, you could use that. Turn it off. The piece of resistance is if you double click it, you get the turbo mode. <laughs> is that like three, three or four thousand lumens? That is insanely bright. That's crazy. It doesn't throw a beam, right? But it puts a hell of a flood out. Alright, see? Oh yeah, the creatures love that. Do you know? So we've got, um, if you, I think if you treble click it. Yeah, there you go, you got the strobe, the SOS strobe. I'm doing the SOS strobe. Turn it off. And to lock it out in travel mode, you click it four times. Oh, no, wait a minute. You can go four times, right? So try and turn it on. Nothing. Wait a minute. Spare with us till I work it out. So it's off. Oh yeah, that's a SOS mode. So I'm quite I'm quite trying to work it out how to do the um the lockout mode. There is a lockout mode. But I'll come back right. The only reason I'm testing it now is because this is when it's dark. Oh yeah, I'm on lockout now. Here we go, back on. So it is four clicks, it's four rapid clicks to lock it out. And to pulse through the mods, it's press and hold, and then double click, turbo mode. So there we go. Wuben X1 Falcon. It is a beast of a thing. It is quite heavy and chunky. But you see how bright it is. Absolutely the brightest torch I've ever handled. C type charger. Charge it up there. Get the charger with it. We'll show you a bit more of it when we get back home, but that was literally just because I'm out in the dark tonight to show how bright it was. Okay.
So here we are, as promised from the tent. This is the box that comes in, nice big chunky box. Ruben X1 Falcon. Right. Take it out, what do you get in the box? You get a very nice case, which you can either hang or clip onto your belt. Always like that. Always like a clip on. That's very well made, like. Take it out. It's all nice, that's all fabric there. Good. So that's the, the torch itself. You get a little lanyard with it. <clears throat> Which is a nice touch. To be fair, right? I can't actually see where that clips on. Oh, yeah, it does go in that. Clips on this little hole there. So that can go in there. It's got the bike mount on. Like I mentioned. We're gonna get the fact sheet out right because it's easier to read from this. I have this I have uh, discovered how to use it since that tent review, quick tent review. So that's the lockout mode, right? To lock it out when it's off, you press it three you press it four times and then the lights flash three times. That's what I was doing wrong. So It comes on, that's getting it back on, right? So let's turn it off. So lock out. One, two, three, four. Ah, oh, did I didn't do it fast enough. One, two, three, four. See the lights flash there, that's it. Now that's totally locked out until you click it four times. That that's a real um a good safety feature that. You gotta do it four times fast. One, two, three, four. Right, it's back on. Right. Then I'll find out why that's a good safety feature shortly. So just on off is easy enough, right? It remembers the last mode you were in. So for the default default up output selections, I can't speak. Switch it on and then you hold it. And it goes through them moonlight that's the brightest one there so that's uh eco is 220 to 400 lumens low is 400 to 1000 medium 1000 to 2000 lumens i mean that's that's high man high is 2000 to 3000 lumens so that's on the high mode there i can feel the heat from there so then remember you've got the turbo mode double click in any mode and the turbo mode kicks on I feel that heat there. That's warming my hand up. <laughs> so three times click is um, strobe mode. Right, and then three times again, I think. That's the SOS mode. Yeah. So it's SOS flash. The strobe mode. Is a um, safety feature. They say to blind bears. <laughs> you know, we don't have bears in this country, but any would-be attackers. Same kind of thing, isn't it? That's it. it tells you all here how to program it for the, uh, the adjustment intervals. If you want to restore the factory settings, click it every 0.5 seconds. Double click the key every 0.5 and hit the key three times, and then it will return to the default. You don't need that unless you're getting rid of it there. So that's the that's the torch, and that's how it works. It's the, uh, the charging port there. Charging cable comes with it. It's in there. That's the charging. That was the charging cable. Obviously, I've got it out to charge it up. blue indicator on here tells you um, how much battery capacity you've got and the rest of it 
So the maximum strobe, they say, a turbo mode is between 12,000 and 3,000 lumens. <laughs> it recommends you have it on for one minute. One minute on the turbo, because it gets really, really hot. I mean, that's bad. Seven flashlight modes. So it's got a 994 foot throw distance. And if you look back to when I was in the tent, it does actually throw that beam. Didn't seem it at the time, but when you look back, it did. It's got one meter impact resistance, so you can drop it from a meter, it should be fine. It's IP55 waterproof, which I think is rain. I wouldn't be submerging it. Anything over $49, which is about, what, £30? Free shipping. 30 day return guaranteed and best of all a five year warranty that's what you that's what you get with it a five year warranty that's not bad is it this is when the founder azim traveled around the world in 2015 didn't have a flat a flashlight that fit his uh you know that fit his needs so he decided to make his own and he founded Wuben. So this is made by somebody who's had all the uh, the experience of not having a flashlight good enough for him. So he's made this beast of a thing. Expensive, yep. Quite heavy, 379 grams. It is a chunky old bit of kit, but man, what a thing. you never get lost with that. Right, they say that the battery run times, right? So Eco in the moonlight mode, 20 lumens, 220 hours that'll run for. Moonlight mode. Low is 400 lumens, 14 hours. Medium, 1,000 lumens, five and a half hours. I mean, how many torches run 1,000 lumens for five and a half hours? That's more than enough for your camp. High mode, 2,600 lumens can run for two hours to run a torch like that, that brightness for two hours unbelievable and then the turbo mode between 12,000 and 3,000 well let's just say you don't want to put it in turbo mode for too long it gets really hot so yeah there we go I like it I'll be using it on the bike should have the bike mount out. It's just a handlebar mount and that just slides on. So that's easy enough to work that out. But with the um the dark nights approaching, I'll be going out on the bike and that'll be the, that'll be my go-to. Because you've seen in the video for the tent, the flood is huge. So there we go. Ruben X1 Falcon. Check it out.